Three women rank strangers' attractiveness. Here, Here we, we go. We ask people to rank it's strangers' attractiveness. People get mad when we do it, so Hi, these are other people doing it. I'm, Here I'm Rupali. I'm from central India. There's a city called Pillai. How long ago did you leave India? 13 years. Do you know what we're going to do with this? Yes, I know I am going to be ranking people's attractiveness. Do you feel comfortable ranking people by attractiveness? Yeah. Don't you do that with your friends? You talk about it. Oh, she's cute. Oh, you know, you do that all the time. Stop lying. It is um, a little scary because I consider myself a sapiosexual. So I am attracted to the mind versus you know outward things. See, that's what I got to do. I've been too distracted with the body and physical. I'm moving to the mind. Did you say Fabio sexual? Sapio. I thought like that's cap. Because if it's the ugliest looking motherfucker with a great mind, if you pop up a picture of Robert Greene, intelligent, knows five languages, wrote so many books, wrote so many books, successful, multi-millionaire. You fucking with his mind? It's cap. You're a capper. Well, you're not a whatever. What is it? Sapio sapiens? What is it? Sapiosexual? Sapiosexual. Sapio -sexual. You're not one of those? Yeah, you're right. Once I see her sucking Robert Greene's dick, then I'll be like, all right. Look, I don't want to see that. I'm like, hey, once he sees it, I guess, whatever that is. Indians are obsessed with white skin. I'm not white. Let's say if it's like a big wedding thing, like, okay, pick the bride, I would be left alone. I know that. I love it though, I love it. But I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. He is very stylish. I love the style. And your hair, your hair is very long, huh? I, oh my God, I noticed that you have very big, like chin area, jaw lines, and thick neck. Oh wow! Can I have you do a pull turn? Yeah. <laughs> you back? Okay. What would, what would mom say? What would mom say? My mom would be like, "Wow, he's good looking." What did he say to you? you? Know, mom approves. <laughs> yeah, and the next question will be, "How much does he make?" Maybe okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you personally a solid nine. What are y'all giving my brother? He yeah, got his face shoes on. Big shoes with his skinnies be throwing me off. Well, this video is uploaded, what? Two years ago. Oh, yeah. I think that's still a little... <laughs> I'd give him a six. I'd give him six. He's not, he's not ugly. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a good look at his, at his face, but from here, six seems about right. You know when, like, guy do some work, like, work, and then you see, like, the veins oh, here? Yeah. yeah, we like that, too. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh. You're good. <laughs> with the stripping points, um... I'll give you nine. I'll give him higher. I, I want to do 6.5. He has that very manly, like... Oh, yeah, he has, like, a man look. He hasn't evolved all the way yet. Well, you got... She got beautiful eyes. Thank you. You're, like, nine. Wow. I loved your hair. I actually always wanted to try that hair. A hair like that in India would be, like, a no-no. They just relate beauty to hair. Longer the hair, the more pretty the woman is. But for me, personally, I like you. I would give you eight. <laughs> Thank yeah. You. What do you like to do? I like to hike, very outdoorsy, backpacking, camping. I was just gonna say, so the Indian girl, like, no, but I, but I like you. Hey, and the girl, oh, do they even believe each other? No. If someone's like, oh yeah, you're a ten. I'm like, what? Okay, let's be almost, serious. You almost don't need to say like people back at home don't like you. You don't, don't say that part. Just what? Don't say that part. Then I can say, oh, like people, like my sisters like, wouldn't like you, but oh, with me though. Yeah. But you know, for a fact, Indian girl don't like that shit at all. The bald head. No, that was the cut answer. Oh yeah, you're a ten out of ten. I'm like. Can you play the game, actual? Play, I really want to know. I would be pissed if everyone gave me a 10 out of 10. I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. I get nothing out of this shoot. But there's also an interesting phenomenon where people who are objectively unattractive. So for example, if I'm a true two, I'll view a girl who's a five. Like an eight or nine. Like an eight or nine. True. So yeah. then what do you see when you see an eight or nine? They just think they're like off the, they broke the scale. They just think like a model is. They would still think they're super attractive. But they'll just put somebody else lower or higher probably. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like a Six, but in my head right now, you're a ten. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. see, that's what I'm saying. That was actually kind of generous. No, six wasn't a bad. Part. Six is extremely a, is a good number, but no one's ever been told you're an average, normal-looking person. So it six feels like an F. And she said six like it was a bad thing, and then the other girl took it like, why would you tell me that? People just don't want to hear it. Six, but but for cut ten. <laughs> like damn. Your hair looks very nice and clean. Thank I you. like that. Thank you. The beard. What's wrong with the beard? I'm not saying that I don't like it. Uh -huh. It just, I think what I like is cleaner uh, face uh -huh. and yeah. seven. I like the way you're dressed. You kind of give me some goofy vibes. Oh, yeah. Are you a goofball? Oh, totally goofy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Totally goofy. I'm going to give you an eight. Oh? 
I would give you a seven. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I like feminine men too. Because oh, <laughs> oh, that's oh. crazy. That might be one of the most brutal answers. But that's the thing. He's never been told that before. Yeah. But I think she's right. He's no, not, no, he's, he's right, but damn, she straight up said that. He's not a manly man. That's like a, you know, a younger sort of stylish shirt with the bright blue pants. And just his build overall. That's the cotton on fit. It's, it's the cotton on 13 yeah. year old section. No shade. Yeah, no shade. <laughs> he looks about what, late? 20s to yeah, early 30s. 29, 30. But it's dressing like it's his first day at ninth grade. Yeah, I, that's the stuff I would wear in high school. <laughs> like summer of eighth grade outfit. And then when he gets told he's feminine, he's like, <gasps> but he's okay with the goofy though. He's like, oh, yeah. Totally goofy. I'm goofball. Nice to David, meet you. David, nice to meet you as well. Oh, I love that he just shook my hand. I think you're more of like an 8.5. His personality is glowing. He came in with a handshake and just a big smile. I like the facial hair as Thank well. You. <laughs> oh my god, all, all, all guys has beards. <laughs> You know, to be a guy thing. He looks well groomed. I'll give you seven. Seven. Okay. Okay. So right off the bat, you have gorgeous eyes. Do a little like a little roundabout for me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We're getting saucy up in here. <laughs> Just based off on looks, my mom would be like, he's older than you. If I shave, I look a lot younger. Um, he gay? Yeah, he's probably gay. I would give you a seven. You're very, he's very masculine to you. That shirt's gotta bring him down mm -hmm. at least five points. <laughs> that shirt is killing me. No, it's bad. It's almost so tight where it's just like pulling his posture. Mm -hmm. There's a scene in White Chicks where he has to put on the fucking, he, she has to put on the dress to fit into it. And this is what this is feeling right, before like. Before the button explodes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't accentuate your body properly. I would just wear it. Some of them fits you a little better. And he's also got the van, like the kid's vans on. It's not the OG classic, it's the ones with the extra cushion and shit. Like, oh, those, those are the kid's vans. Those are the lightweight, what, like the foam, <laughs> the foam runners. No, I, I love vans and I think any anyone of any age can wear them, but yeah, he's got the, uh, he's got the hopscotch six oh. vans. Yeah, he needs help in that department, I would say. I'll give you nine. For me, just because he's a little older, I get like, daddy vibes and i'm sorry but i am like so not with that and i'm gonna put you at a six it's the daddy thing why I is he upset there. six isn't a bad answer six, six is like, high she definitely gives me the model vibes you will get nine right off the bat baby you're a nine i love your hair i love everything about you your skin is just perfect it's so smooth what makes you laugh? I don't know. <laughs> um, awkward moments. Okay. Yeah. She's going to be more of an eight. Oh, yeah, she's the best looking one so far. Fun, actually. Eye-opening in a way, you know. I never thought about categorizing people or how much would I rate who. So it was really a learning experience. Did you say this was harder or easier than you expected? It was actually harder than I expected. They look so good by their own style. So I had to like, you know, talk about it. I've never met or seen someone who called themselves a sapiosexual that wasn't absolutely unbearable. Because they probably have to bring it up like that they're that's only the attracted job. to someone's mind. Like I'm deeper. Like if somebody tells you they're vegan off rip, you're like, okay, that's your whole person. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Versus like, oh, you're going to get to eat some, oh, I don't eat that, I'm vegan. She needs you the world to know. Personally for me, the most attractive person in the video was the Indian woman. She's so beautiful and seems like a very kind and fun person to be around. I agree. I agree. I feel like nobody is giving their real score they actually have in mind. Thank yeah. you. Shout out to the sapios. I might be a Sapio. 